Hey guys, Shaggy here, right here, yeah, 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 G-Unit, we're finally here at the end of the series of showcasing the Golden Diamond cameras for the Assault Rifles. Thank you for following me so far on this little mini-series, and yes, I want to end it with a bang, so here it is, a Yemen 99 Grand War gameplay with an AN-94 Diamond camo, look, it looks very nice and sexy, I just want to quickly give you an introduction, look at this, 200 cap kills equals 400 points, just like that, it's playing it smart, another 200 points, and that is how we get 600 points on the start, and then we fail, because we're reloading. Anyway, I'm still using fast mags with stock attachments, lightweight flag jacket, scavenger toughness, dexterity, and I just wanted to say, of course, this gameplay is special to me because I don't usually get 100 plus gameplays with assault rifles, not my thing, you know, but I used the assault rifle like it was an MSMC, I was rushing around with it like a madman, playing the objective, see, a lot of YouTubers, like, let me tell you a secret, a lot of YouTubers that get 100 plus gameplays consistently, they all reverse boost, you get me, when they reverse boost, it's annoying because they lower their stats and they go into shitty lobbies with shitty players that don't even know how to shoot, all they know is how to reload and that's pretty much it, but me, I'm playing in legit lobbies, you get this, these players are pretty decent, I'm just playing it smart, well, not really smart because I'm still rushing around like a madman but still anyway i just wanted to say the first one was oh you know it was a bit weird i was getting a lot of deaths i was dying one of this one of that and i just wasn't i was not getting my streaks and i just ended up getting like nine deaths in the first round but in the second round i just went ham but i don't want you to skip anything because this gameplay is unique as a94 you don't see many people getting 100 plus with a94 usually people using uh you know assault rifles tend to head glitch or play passive they sit back and it's really boring to watch but this right here ladies and and gentlemen and other species this is right here a russian gameplay with the assault rifles you're rushing a whole way around none of that head glitching none of that sitting back camping this is just blind russian you get me all right let's calm down now all right let me just get a breather here all right safe so anyway so as you know stock is really good well, for an attachment with the fast mags with AN94 and the diamond camo gave me the extra motivation to go for it. I wasn't too sure at first, you know, with the first round if I was going to get the 100 plus, but then I swear the second round, I swear, wait till you see it, it was crazy. I had like nine mans around me, not nine mans, but eight, eight mans around me, right? And they were all literally, I was in a situation where I could die at any given. <laughs> You see that guy, he fell down a hole. Blood, um, the amount of times I fell down a hole, you know what I'm saying? The amount of times I fell down a hole was embarrassing. One time I died twice in a row, falling down a hole. I don't know why, it's something that you don't really think about at the time when you're in a situation. But anyway, when you're in the zone, you know what's up, man. But this is a really good map and a really good design. And Yemen is one of those maps where it's like a bit dull. The color scheme is not that great. But when you play Domination, you know that all the spawns and whatnot. It's really good. I love this map of Free For All as well. So, you know, Captain Flags was doing whatnot. Yeah, I end up getting 11 thousand points at the end of this game you know how crazy that is the amount of 200 points i got for cap kills the amount of objective play i've done if that makes sense you know i was just like literally at first you know i was thinking to myself you know what the only way i can do well in this game if i actually play the objective because i realized that after playing a lot of free throw and i completely forgot about domination you know what let's go back to the older roots let's go what i start off with move out of the way <laughs> You know, people coming in new ways, the worst thing of Black Ops 2. I noticed that, especially in the start, when they're trying to go into your rush routes. Check this guy about to knife me. Holy shit. I don't know if that was a topical. No, it wasn't a topical. Someone stole my kill. Is that guy jumping over my head? See, this this game right here was intense, man. And... Oh, my God, my dad. Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to freaking stop the commentary. My dad really wanted me to pick that phone call up, which I usually don't do that because I expect them to pick the phone call because every time a phone call occurs, it's always for them, not for me. It's always for them. So I just failed to get the swarm. If I were to kill him on that flag, I would have got 125 points and I would have got my swarm. Unfortunately, no, I just ended up getting my K9 unit and my Blackbird. But, you know, we end up getting it in the second round anyway. If I were to get the Swarm right now, I would have probably got even more kills. I ended up getting 127 kills, as you can see by the title. I would have probably got more if I played it a bit more careful, in a sense. But really, at the end of the day, it's something that you don't really expect at the time when you're playing, right? You can't really say to yourself, okay, today I'm going to get 100 plus, and you get 100 plus. You can't just do that in this game. This game is so random, and you'll notice how random it is because, you know, I don't know, you can debate about this, but I'm not because this this game right here is something that I really, really deserved, in my opinion, because after all the effort of going for the diamond camo, I ended up getting with the final assault rifle, which is the AN-94, and it goes beast. I literally... Without the stock attachment, I don't think I would have got this gameplay. Like, literally, some of the 
encounters that I had, like a gunfight situation, I wouldn't have won it without stock because the mobility is much better with stock, and at the same time, you can use it like a, a sorry, a submachine gun because you know you. I obviously it's not rush friendly, but I'm trying to adapt to it. So 43 kills, so 43 kills, and nine deaths in the first round. So I had to get 6,000 points in the second round to make up for the 11,000 points that I got at the end, right? So think about it, I'm capping C. Look, a lot, of, a lot of people these days don't tend to cap the flags at the start. Look at four guys going away. Damn you, players. 50 points makes a huge difference at the end of the score streaks. I'm just saying, you know, 50 points to start the game. No one's capping B flag, let's go for that. Halfway, nearly, no, I nearly got my blackbird, so I gotta make sure I get this B flag sword and no one's coming for, oh shit, I see a grenade, dodge that, got my flag jacket, baby, flag jacket is where it's at, see, I'm talking more about the gameplay because I really enjoyed getting this, I really enjoyed playing in this lobby with this weapon, I usually don't talk about my gameplays with the MSMC because I know the MSMC is an easy weapon to use, I know the PDW is an easy weapon to use, this weapon is one of those weapons, oh, no, look at that, I should have died there, how did I not die I took him out by surprise I played it really smart check this this is the choke point this was the point where I had to play it really smart check this out they're spawning all behind me all around me nine mans around me check this out yeah I have no idea how they could not find me take this dude out check this it's not over the spree is not over check this is this is the dirtiest spree I had of all time in history check this out caption flag 200 200 200 Blood, where you at? Where you at? Shit, bear man's around me. Yo, oh, this is explosions everywhere. You get me? No, no, bumble clock, man. Oh, shit. Gonna go for the B flag. Get 200. All right, get capped out. I don't know what's going on. But we get another V sat. This means we're on for another swarm. This is crazy. Oh, my God. They keep coming. Look at them. They're all at A. I'm gonna take a risk. Go up here. Take him out. Hit fire. Dogs getting them. I wanna go and try and cap A. Let me cap A. All right, cap A. All right, nice and cool. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy. Check this check the score this is a close game we got another dog but look how long it takes me to actually call out a second set because i get it so fast man this was crazy get the second set of swarms and the dogs i thought i was gonna die at this point i still haven't died this is insane and then i die all right so i was like holy crap did i just go on that dirty spree all that time with the an94 i didn't realize i was using this weapon in the first place like holy shit i just did that did i just do that that's crazy man that is crazy i sound so hyped up in this commentary i do apologize if it does annoy you but you know, as I said, I really thought that this gameplay is unique because you don't see many YouTubers post these kind of gameplays and it's really, really aggressive in that sense and it's really worth it. I mean, you play you play against decent players, you don't you don't play against players who only know how to respawn in a match. Because if you do that, then it's really boring to watch. And sometimes, you know, I look at all these commentators and all these channels and 200 pluses. And these, these, these I mean, I'm not, I'm not flaming, I'm not flaming. I mean, I sound a bit hypocritical here, but the players that these YouTubers play against the gameplays, they don't ever know how to even play the game. They just got the game for the first time, you know? Know what I'm saying but the I mean I'm playing against experienced guys these guys know how to shoot you know and my swarm just go ham because I knew that these guys that I was going against did, did not want to give up you know they were going for the win but I'm sorry they got outplayed I just annihilated look at all these guys with their heads there you can see that on the top left you know in red the red icon that means that obviously is the death cam pretty much these guys all had a microphone and uh, they were getting shitted on one of the guys I can actually I, I played this video back at the end they had like this voice changer with a deeper voice it's kind of annoying and it's really I mean PlayStation microphones are horrible in the first place I mean it's nothing I'm not, I'm not trying to like you know bum lick the money thing but seriously playstation microphone is horrible the service i swear it's horrible but you know what can i say that's what it is what it is what it is is what it is you know what i'm saying it is what it is so failed to uh, get a hit fire there all of a sudden like okay after all of that you just failed to kill a guy in a close range gunfight that's just funny but i, I just still couldn't believe my eyes at this point like how on earth did i just get 100 plus all of a sudden and you know still a minute left and they still need eight. What well, we still need 18 points to win 17 now. So really, it's like I mean, I can still go for more kills. So I decided to do just that. See this guy climbing up to the awkward spot. There's so many points where I can die. He's getting stunned all over the place. Grenades coming from all sorts of directions. These guys capping B should have died at this point as well. People, like, all these stuns. I've had tactical masks that would have helped. Ugh, just get out of that hole. See more people here. These guys, I swear, man. Oh, nearly died. Oh, knife that guy. Shit. 
He missed with a KSG at that range. That must be embarrassing. I know KSG requires some sort of skills to use. That's the only shotgun that I can sort of give respect to other than any, any other shotgun I wouldn't. Check this out. This is taking a risk. Trying to cap B. Get the 200 cap kills. Get another 200. Oh my god. It's so close capping B. But I still managed to get 400 points from just that. Call out the VSAT. And try and go for the B again and just taking a risk and see if I get another 200 points. No, I don't because I would keep dying again. But, you know, that, that was that was basically it. And I guess at this point, I could have got another kill if I were to concentrate even more. And that guy coming through the door. But then, you know, I just like, you know, fuck it. You know, fuck it. I got 127 kills. Might as well accept those two stupid deaths that I had right at the end of the game. Really, it should be 127 for 13. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And hope you guys enjoy this whole series as well. And we're coming close to an end for Assault Rifles. This is a Diamond version of A94. 11,000 points, 127 kills, 15 deaths, 12 kills captures and 23 defense i really appreciate if you guys rate this video and i'll see you guys soon let's try and get this to 500 likes at least thank you very much guys see you guys soon check it sign out and happy yeah